A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Hey friends, car and park here for a second. I'm letting my car warm up a bit. Um, it is cold out here. This is cold in my car. 52 degrees outside. Sun is shining on half the house. <laughs> here on the camera. Um, so today is, well, it's an interesting day. Um, today is my mom's birthday. Um, my mom passed away three years ago um, this month. So not only do we celebrate her birthday, but we also celebrate her passing um, and Mother's Day. So a lot of mixed feelings in there. I haven't like gotten emotional about anything. I haven't worried about anything. My family is going to do a Zoom call tonight um, to just kind of talk and see how everyone's doing, kind of catch up like we used to do during COVID. I loved it because I don't live near my family, so I don't get to have those, you know, updates from people as often. They don't get on social media. They don't, we have a group texting thread um, that people kind of post things in. I knew that was gonna happen. My battery is dead. Um, but you know, it's better to hear it like in, you know, in person, but I, I'm not there. Okay, let me switch the battery real quick. Okay new battery in. Hopefully that one is actually charged because we're going to head out. Um, so I have that to do tonight. Um, but it, part of that call with my family will be on my way to go to a cheer meeting for Ashley. She'll start her new sideline cheer squad. It's not new. She's done it twice before. She'll have, um, a parent meeting. I'm thinking she probably will want to go. Um, but we have that meeting tonight. So I probably will have to start driving during my zoom call tonight with my family, which I've already told them about. But so as I've come into May this week. Today is the 7th, right? My mom's birthday. 7th? Her birthday's on the 7th. Yes. Um, I've wanted to put out my pinwheels as a remembrance for my mother. Um, and I can't find them. I can't find them anywhere. And it's not like they can be tucked in a bin too deep because they would get crushed. We've looked in all of my... Here, let me show you. They would normally be in my bins over here, but they're not. And Jason still insists on keeping these little Mylar balloons up there. <laughs> but I, they're not up there because I don't keep my, I only have the orange bins for Halloween up there. Can you see the orange ones? I don't think you can see them. And I have 4th of July pinwheels that I will put out um, midway through June. I usually try and wait till the kids are like almost out of school before I decorate for the 4th of July. Um, just because it seems a little weird to decorate. <laughs> My kids are still in school, but I can't find my pinwheels. Um, so I need to go find some new ones for the month of May and part of June. Um, if you are new here, which I do have a lot of new people that have come, I have probably about a hundred new people every month, which is amazing. So welcome. Um, but in the three years since my mom has been gone, um, that's a lot of new people. So let me just kind of explain really quick, um, what the pinwheels mean and hopefully I can do it without crying. My mom for, well, two decades, almost two decades, has been doing, had been doing um, granddaughter days, and now we do it as grandkid days without her. Um, in the beginning, a lot there was just a lot of girls that didn't get to do things because the boys got to go camping or hiking or um, whatnot with grandpa. So they did granddaughter days um, with my mom and usually some of my sisters um, before they were married and had kids of their own. Um, but they would do granddaughter days at my mom's house and lots of fun activities during the summer and swimming and camp campfires and s'mores and they would go to retirement centers and sing songs. Third battery better be a charm. <laughs> Sorry about that. Luckily I hadn't left home and I had one more battery that hopefully is charged. Fingers crossed because now I don't have any other batteries. But every year, so my mom would do these activities. They would do it for three or four days at her house. All of us mothers got a free pass from our children and it, we always loved when kids got to graduate into the program when they were old enough for grandma to be able to handle them and they were independent enough and potty trained and all these things. So my mom had to been doing this for years and years and the kids all loved it. We would drive down to Utah where she lived. Um, my dad still lives there. My family still lives there. And it was like a big highlight for our summer. The girls, our girls loved it. They have very fond memories of it. Um, and I do too as a parent because 
they were connecting with my mother. <clears throat> I said I wasn't gonna cry quite yet today. But every year she would make a banner and she would outline granddaughter days or whatever she would, whatever phrase she wanted. They'd make a huge banner and they'd tape it to the garage out front so that all the neighbors knew that we were doing, they were doing granddaughter days. Um, and the kids would color the poster when they got there. And um, in the beginning it wasn't pinwheels, but she would have some kind of an outdoor decoration she would put into the yard and eventually it turned into pinwheels and she would line the yard with pinwheels. Fast forward to the day after my mom died and I didn't make it in time. Well, we only had 12 hours notice from when she went to the hospital and sick, was sick to the time she was gone, um, 12 hours. And so I didn't make it in time. There was no flights. By the time we were, we realized that she wasn't going to make it, there was no flights out of Seattle. And so I didn't make it to my house, my dad's house until the next morning with my aunt and my uncle. They picked me up from the airport the next morning. And as I drove into my parents' cul-de-sac, my mom's neighbors, also side note, this is why I'm sad, my dad has to move. He's selling his house. <laughs> my mom's neighbors were putting up pinwheels in her yard for her and for us. And I was able to witness that as I drove up and gave them hugs. And they're my mamas, they're my examples that I grew up with. A lot of their kids are my age and her parents themselves now. Um, so pinwheels have become the symbol of mom along with um, the song, You Are My Sunshine. Um, I have special gift for someone in my family, one of my girls soon about that. Um, that we'll share later, but um, so those things are important to us as a family. So every year we put out our pinwheels, at least us girls do. I don't know for sure if my sister-in-laws do, um, that up to them and my brothers, but my sisters all, um, oh my God, sorry. I do have an update on my elbow, um, I'll get to that. But my sisters and I all put out our pinwheels. Um, and it's different for each one of us when we feel like we need to put them out. I am going to try and put them out today um, if I can find them. Um, so that, that said, I need to go find pinwheels. Then I need to go and find a gift for my daughter's um, elementary school front desk. Wonderful guru. Um, I was talking to someone at church yesterday and she was like, you have to do Mariner's theme. Get her a basket with Mariner's theme stuff. Or at least then the, like one or two things with Mariner's things and then um, blues and greens. She absolutely loves the Seattle Mariners, which is true and I had totally forgotten about that. And so that's what I'm gonna go do today. I'm gonna go look for things like that. And then um, another time I'll go to the dollar store and I'll get all the little, the basket and the blue and the green trinkety things that can go in the basket. Today I'm just worried about getting the pinwheels from my mom and one or two things that are Mariners styles because I'll be in general stores that have the same things. Um, Marshalls is where we're heading. Um, so yeah. That's what we're gonna go do. So later today, I will give you an update on my elbow. Um, nothing has changed with my elbow, but I do have an update on how to help me. <laughs> how I'm going to help myself, I'll explain. All right, totally struck out at Marshalls and Home Goods, which shocks me because it literally Mariner's season starts like this weekend. I found two hats, men's hats. That's it, like no mugs, no shirts, no nothing, no socks, absolutely nothing. So I got face wipes. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many face wipes we go through in our family. It's insane. Okay, so I put those in the car and I'm gonna go over to Dick's. Didn't wanna go to Dick's because it's higher priced. But I might just find a pair of socks or, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I know they'll have something. Okay, I have an idea. One little thing I can get there. I don't want to get a t-shirt because I don't want to guess size and have it be too large so it makes it look like I think she's large and too small and make her feel uncomfortable. So I have an idea of one or two things I can get her, but I'm gonna go and look at Fred Meyer one because I think they'll probably have some pinwheels there um, and two because they have like a good sports section, I hope. Um, they did have a good section here at Dick's, I just I can't afford it. <laughs> Might also try and see if I have a discount for Dick's somewhere. Also, it's not really a good sign when the cop is sitting in the parking lot like that, like diagonal, just hanging out over there. back 
a target. My ride and die, ride or die. Okay, so I don't love these guys. I don't like the colors on these ones. This is like the ones um, that I already have for the 4th of July. And I like them because they fold on themselves. And you can kind of pack them up and store them. And they're like a harder plastic. Um, this guy is huge. Can you tell how big it is? Like, it comes up to there on me. It comes up to my purse or higher. So it's pretty big. Um, they're $8 a piece. But then I thought I could get these little ones to kind of, like this one up front. And then the little ones kind of in a line. I don't know. It's not the best scenario. I wish they had little ones like this one. Um, but I haven't literally found anything else. So I think I'm gonna get these. If the dollar store has anything different, then I'll bring these back. Found a few more. I just don't like the red, white, and blue right now. So, like this is the one I don't really like. I don't like those colors as much. Same one there. They have big ones in the red, white, and blue, but I don't need them. Okay. Pick this one and this one. All right, so striking out. I'm. I actually am finding stuff, Mariner stuff. It just costs so much money, <laughs> just because it is like a brand. So, um, they had some stuff here at Target. I should have just come to Target. It's my ride or die. It will never let me down. I just was going to other places to just see, but. I should have just stuck with Target. I have 40 minutes until I need to go and get my nails done. Um, it is working so far to um, get them done. They are not having any problems these days. So I am enjoying having them done. I have not decided if I'm just going to keep my little French tip, which I really, really like. They're dip. Um, or if I should just do another pale color. I'm liking the discreet colors right now. And I think one of you is <laughs> messaging me about your trip in Maui and you keep sending me ocean videos and anyway, it's making me want to be there so badly. But I appreciate you sending me the pictures and the videos because it's, it's keeping me going. So don't stop. You'll, you'll be home by the time you see this. Um, but you will appreciate me appreciating it on camera. I'm pretty sure. Okay, the nails are done. I'm just loving the basic. <laughs> they just look so pretty and natural. And, um, and they don't, you can't really see the growth. When it grows out, you don't really see it as much with the clear. So, I'm really liking them. Unfortunately, the second I sat down and had the foil on all my fingertips where you can't answer your phone or do anything with it, um, the Abby's surgeon called me, or the office called me to schedule her, her next post-op appointment. And I was like, now you call me back? It's been a day <laughs> since I left them a message to make her appointment. And so I just left another message with them to call me back again. And I'm not gonna miss this call again. She's gonna have her post-op from her surgery and we will get the hopeful um, sign off on that surgery. Um, she has to be six months post-op in order to do her rhinoplasty on her nose. So hopefully we can schedule that and um, and she can decide. I actually need to go home and talk to her and see if she's decided if she's going to do the rhinoplasty this summer or if she's going to do it um, after school starts. Um, and maybe that decision is dependent on um, like school pictures. So I don't know. I don't know what she's going to decide to do. So the senior pictures, you get to choose your picture. So we can probably get a photo session scheduled with a friend of mine, um, hopefully before she moves, before her surgery, if she ends up wanting to do it this summer. And then she can just submit that photo for the yearbook. So um, the other update on my elbow that I spent hours working on yesterday, actually I was just on hold for like a half hour with um, one place that ended up being able to really, really help me. Um, finally found a doctor or a set of doctors that work with my insurance which is awesome because the first place I called with a referral that had already been sent over for my elbow this is my elbow if you guys are following along um the place that the referral was actually sent to does not take my insurance I hate this insurance it's new in the state of Washington and so not a lot of people are picking it up quite yet 
they're just a little bit hesitant to. And so anyway, I was really bummed with that because that's the place I wanted to go, <laughs> like really badly. So then I called and was on hold for a long time, but the lady that helped me um, really honestly have like four different places as options. Um, one of them is close by, but they won't, they don't have appointments until July. And so we looked a little bit further away because I really want to get going on the process to like figure out what's wrong with my elbow. And so we went with one over at UW Medical. It's actually at their sport medicine uh, facility. And ironically, or anyway, we know someone who works for the facility. <laughs> Not he's not a doctor, but we know someone who works over there. So um, it's a little bit further away, but they can get me in next month, like early in in June um, versus July. So if and I'm on a wait list, if anything pops up earlier, just because I don't have a set doctor, um, I can go with any doctor within the clinic if there's something that's sooner. So I have better chances of getting in at least by June, if not sooner there, um, because this process is gonna involve involve like a half hour consult with that doctor, determine that yes, I probably do need an MRI, then I have to schedule the MRI, and then I have to get that and get the results back to that doctor. Hopefully they decide to do an MRI, because I just think that's what we need to do, um, given the other medical advice I've been able to receive. And that process just takes a while, so it's kind of frustrating that it's already like, I can't do anything else until June. Well, you know, just take it as it comes. So, um, also while I was in there getting my nails done, Jason texted me and asked me to go home and get some cash that he has at home and go get a part that he ordered at Ford for Kaylee's car. It has a, they went and got it diagnosed yesterday. Yesterday, I think, yeah. It has a sensor that's been going off um, and they went and had it diagnosed and it's just a, a sensor that needs to be replaced. It's only like ninety dollars, um, but Ford order it ordered it for us yesterday. They have it today, and he can install it tonight. So um, that will fix Kaylee's car and make sure it's running safely for her. So I'm gonna go home, get that money, um, fill up my water bottle. I've got my water there, right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking it, fill it up when I get home, and hurry to go and pick up that part before traffic. Like I'm really <laughs> wanting to get this and be back home before all the traffic. Tonight I have, Ashley has an activity at church. I don't know that Chelsea will wanna go to hers and I have to go to a cheer meeting for her squad. I think I already told you that. So I wanna be able to be at home for a few hours before I have to go back out and run around. Okay, just picked up a little teeny tiny part. That little sucker was $100. <laughs> Hopefully it makes the car work. And I let Chelsea know I could probably pick her up. If there's no traffic on next street that I'm gonna drive on, school gets out in one minute. It takes her a second to walk out. And I can pick her up, but she's not responding back to me. So we'll see. She didn't check her messages before getting on the bus. She'll be home in five minutes, not a big deal, but it's sometimes nice to just get a ride. So I'll see her at home. We're at home and now I have to decide, because it's not gonna be even, but where do we put this guy? Let's see what it looks like. I'm kinda thinking maybe on the right. Can't show you the, we'll go up this way so you can't see your address. Got the flowers on that side and flowers on the other that I can't pan up. So I'm kind of thinking, kind of fill up that gap right there. Maybe we'll just do it like in the middle here and then do little ones on the side. That's cute. And then I think I'll just do little ones around it. Hi. 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 Got grandma's pinwheels. Yeah. Are those the exact ones? No, I don't know where my other ones are. <laughs> so I had to go find these ones today. But I do like this kind here because they fold on each other so I can store it better. Yeah. And then I'll put out the 4th of July ones. So. Do you like that? Do you like how it looks? Yeah? Okay. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's a good little windy day to have it going. And Chelsea is straight out to the chickens. And... I don't know if you guys have gotten a close-up look at these guys lately. Because so one's not a guy. 
It's become yeah, quite I'm apparent. I noticed that a lot sooner. I did. No, I this one is clearly a little rooster. He's starting to make a little bit more noise. Yeah. And you are just a little follower. Yep. So, Come here. you are not a rooster. You do not have any red on you. <laughs> so, this guy's going back, and we're going to swap her for a girl. Swap him for a girl. And hopefully... She's just drinking water. Yep. And you're just <laughs> eating the pecking leaves. at my little tree. Luckily, I don't necessarily care about that branch right there. Because I like the canopy of the top of it. Because he's just obliterated. All, like yeah, he's I'll, eaten uh, all of these leaves off of that branch right there. Yep. She's helped. Yeah. But still. But still. But still. They're still not likely going to stay. But I need to find an actual home for them. Yeah. But we are going to swap out for a female because this one is making noise and our neighbors are starting to hear. I'm sh they, there's no way they can't hear it. Okay, this girl just got home. You fell off the bus or did you fall going? Fell off the bus? No. I'm going just to like, the buses. Oh. So, I'm going to get her cleaned up and she wants to go with me to the meeting tonight, right? For your other cheer squad? Okay, I'm currently sitting in my car getting ready to <laughs> join my family call. Um, so, anyway, waiting for them to let me join in. And I'm doing it from the car because I have to go soon. Okay, hi, hi. Hey. hi. I didn't know I like, allow people. Sorry, that was a little... Um, Do this hang on. Oh, you're going to cut around or something. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know what it's doing. Hang on. Turn on. There we go. All right, I forgot that we were even filming today. That, um. I want to do a competitive. <laughs> so we just did her team meeting. It won't cost anymore. And a lot of her friends that are on her current squad are now doing this stunt. No, this sideline football cheering. Like she's done the past two years. I've basically, I've basically so promoted their brand. Yeah, she's been getting. I've promoted the brand like she's been more getting, than them. Getting all of her friends to come and do this, and then she's been getting her um, sideline cheer friends to do my school friends. The other ones. So now she has this whole mix of people that are on both squads. I'm basically their promoter. But at the very end of this meeting, which we've already done this, this is our third season. They nope, said that we. Second. No third. Nope. Yes, it is. Doing cheers third. Two weeks. I I, 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 this is our third year because I've missed two salmon days, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, so this is our third year. And at the very end of this meeting, um, we're going to go, but I'm just trying to like, um, they said that if there's enough interest and they see, well, did, and yeah. they see skill by the end of the season, they might do competitions for this squad. We don't but, do stunting for this squad. But they said that they will. Because they don't. And they they don't. Good thing shh, you are so full of. You want. You've wanted to talk for so long tonight. I'm so sorry. But they don't do the insurance and licensing for stunt and tumble. Yeah, but we with have this a clinic. Squad, so we can't we do have that. A clinic with. But we do a clinic with other cheerleaders. Which that would be so fun. To learn a, a routine to be able to go to competition with. And they will pick and choose the ones who have the most talent to be able to do that because they can't do that with all 75 like that are tryout. currently signed up. So hey, where are you? no. you'll make it because you're good at it and you've done it before. They'll also get um, Anne's approval. Oh, there's a, I'm right over a bump. To new people coming to this meeting, I'm right on a bump and it's <laughs> awkward. It's really overwhelming. So I was sitting by her friend's mom. They went with us to Japan. And uh, so she's like, okay, okay, this isn't so overwhelming when we know we've already kind of done this cheer thing before. So um, it's going to be fun to do it with them again. So we're going to be on double squads together, which is actually helpful because on carpool. some of the fall practice nights, we're going to have to carpool from, from one squad to the next um, and double up. But it'll be nice to have another parent to help with that transport. Mm -hmm. So that'll be nice. Um, so... We're gonna commingle all of these little cheer squad and families and friends and it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. But you could see your little head pop up as soon as they put the slide up that said we might do a competition. Yeah. <laughs> you and Gracie's head just all of a sudden like, what, what, what? We're talking about competition? They're very excited about that. Cause so. we want, we have like, 
You want it, you the like, the, but the worry is My that if you're, want to do it if it's competitive. But it's the same time as our other competition for your stunt, stunt squad, your competitive squad. So that's the worry is that either it's going to be on different day, like same days, but different locations. So you may I not be able, <laughs> I know. So we no, have to, we come. have to figure it out. She's very, let me talk to her for just a minute, but I'm going to sign off with you guys. Um, I had a very fun conversation with my family, nothing super special, like nothing, none of us were emotional or anything, it was just fun to catch up with each other. Maybe they ended the call talking about my mom, I don't know, we had to get off of it, but um, anyway, just been, it's been a good day to think of my mom today for her birthday, and have you seen my pinwheels out front? Oh, you saw them out front. We'll keep those up until uh, we put out our 4th of July ones, so. Anyway, take care, you guys. Hug your loved ones. Never know when you're going to be able to hug them again. So take care, and we'll see you next time.